Are you looking for the perfect lake vacation property in British Columbia? Hidden among the lush mountains, this pristine lake is surrounded by old growth forests, posh lakeside cabins, and kilometers of beaches to explore. Come with me as we check out Lake Houchin here on Vancouver Island. Now, before we get started, if you have a second, give us a like or subscribe. This lets us know what we're doing, you like, and you want to see more of it. Now, without any further ado, let's check out this little known oasis. Lake Cowichan is found in the Cowichan Valley Regional District of Vancouver Island. Known for its wineries, rich cultural heritage, and vast natural beauty, you'll never tire of exploring this stunning area. To get here, you first must get to Vancouver Island via sea or air, which leaves you with two ports of entry, Nanaimo or Victoria. Lake Cowichan is about 70 kilometers away if you first arrive in Nanaimo, and 90 kilometers away if you arrive in Victoria. On your way to the lake, you'll pass through Duncan, known as the city of totem poles. If you need to shop at some big box stores, you'll need to stock up here before heading up to paradise. When you arrive in Lake Cowichan, you'll be overwhelmed by the breathtaking natural beauty. This lake is nestled amongst the Vancouver Island mountains and offers stunning views of pristine forests, rolling hills, and crystal clear waters. The lake is over 30 kilometers long and has a perimeter of roughly 110 kilometers. Much of this land surrounding the lake is undisturbed and not overpopulated, like some other lakes on Vancouver Island. There are primarily three communities on the lake the town of Lake Cowichan, Yubo, and Honeymoon Bay. The town of Lake Cowichan is on the east side of the lake at the entrance of the Cowichan River and has a population of around 3,200. It has all the amenities needed that supports the surrounding communities, such as grocery stores, pharmacies, hardwares, and liquor stores. This quiet town reminds me of where I was raised in the Columbia Valley. Everywhere you look, there are familiar, friendly faces of people that live a laid-back lifestyle on the lake. However, it can get busy here during the spring and summer, as tourists and cabin owners return to enjoy this little-known paradise. Found 15 minutes away from the town of Lake Cowichan is Honeymoon Bay, a sleepy little town of 600 people on the lake's south side. There's not much here beside campsites, parks, and cabins, so pick up supplies before visiting Honeymoon Bay. Now, Yubo has a population of around 1,000 people and is found on the north side of the lake, roughly 15 minutes away from Lake Cowichan. As you're driving, please watch out for elk. They're absolutely everywhere. But this community, it's well known for having some of the most beautiful lake cabins on Vancouver Island. Here, the lake is a haven for outdoor enthusiasts. It offers various recreational activities such as swimming, boating, paddle boarding, and so much more. The calm and clean waters of the lake make it an ideal spot for water-based adventures. Now, one of the most popular activities is tubing down the Cowichan River. During the summer, as the river slows down to a crawl, people of all ages rent tubes from the tube shack just off of Lake Drive. From here, you launch into the water and float with your friends down a lazy river with, a, to be honest, a, a few rough spots. Um, at the end though, the shuttle will pick you up and return you to the parking lot, which should only take a couple hours from start to finish, so definitely put this on your schedule. Now, just down from where you exit the river from tubing, where the water gets considerably rougher, is Scutts Flats Park. This is a beautiful provincial park popular with mountain bikers and hikers. This is a part of a vast network of trails that can lead you to the Kinslow Trestle near Shawnigan Lake. This is part of the Cowichan Valley Trail, which is so amazing it deserves its own video. Now, if you'd like to see that, definitely leave a comment down below. Now, if you're a boater that loves calm waters for wakeboarding and water skiing, Lake Cowichan is the place for you. With over eight square kilometers of water to explore, this will feel like you're on your own private lake. There are multiple boat launches around the lake with ample parking for trailers. It's well worth the gas money to haul your boat up to this expansive lake. Now, for you s'more lovers out there, Lake Houchin provides several camping and picking sites for visitors to enjoy the outdoors. These locations offer stunning lakeside views, peaceful surroundings, and facilities for a comfortable stay. 
I've included some links down below for popular campsites if you're planning a trip in the coming months. Now, if you do want a lakefront cabin, you're gonna pay well over $2 million. However, some examples of stratified land with townhome style properties in and around the $1 million range do exist. If you're looking for a beautiful, old riverfront home along the Cowichan River, you'll still likely be paying well over a million dollars for one of these spectacular classic homes. Now, statistically, once you've stripped away all of the waterfront homes in Lake Cowichan, the average sale price for a single family home is around $725,000 as of 2023. There has been a significant drop in prices since the peak in 2021 and 2022, but things are still considerably high for such a small town. As mentioned before, there are kilometers of waterfront land available on Lake Cowichan for people looking to build their ideal vacation home. If you have the means, you can build your dream on an acreage in one of the most beautiful places in Canada. If you'd like to see such an acreage, I'd definitely click the link up here. I hope you get to live the island life soon. And if you wanna learn more about doing so, I'd definitely check out this video right up here or this video right up here.